Welcome everyone to this virtual walkthrough of Space Odyssey Reimagined. My name is Naomi Paquette and I am the lead educator and space science content specialist for the exhibit. I'm so excited to be walking you through the gallery today. We're going to be starting with our first knowledge orbit, Human Wonder. We know our guests want to know, how do we know these amazing things about the night sky? And it all starts by looking up. And so in our campfire over here, our guests can get the experience of looking up at the night sky sitting out under the stars and hear stories from cultures from around the world about what they saw in the sky. We're so proud to have partnered with the Cochiti Pueblo and the Skiddy Pawnee to highlight some stories from relatively local tribes. So guests just simply come here, press one of these buttons, and hear a story. So guests can explore this idea of wonder in so many ways. And as they turn around, they'll see our amazing model of the Spirit and Opportunity Mars rovers and introduced to machines in space. Machines can go where humans can't. They can explore beyond our own senses. So guests have opportunities to color their own images of the universe, plan a mission to space. But the most fun interactive is by far our rocket launch pad. All of us have wanted to experience a rocket launch at some point in our life, and this gives guests the chance to be up close and personal with it. Step Five, below our rocket four, nozzle, three. and they can feel the rumble of that rocket launch and experience the light sound all while watching it closer than they ever could if they were there at the launch. It's a whole body experience, and it is so much fun getting to our guests' idea of big movement and really feeling and being part of the science. So as we come around the corner, we can see our Mars diorama. This is still the most accurate Marscape anywhere in the world. And we are so proud to be depicting Candor Chasma, part of our largest canyon in our solar system. Now with improved lighting and a few surprises. Keep your eye out for a dust storm in the diorama. Of course, we are following all of the health regulations from the city and county of Denver, as well as the state of Colorado which means this part of the exhibit is still coming, but we're so excited to bring in the Design Challenge Lab once it's safe for our guests, staff, and volunteers. This will give our guests a chance to be scientists, to run experiments, and to test out engineering challenges. So stay tuned for an all new experience. So we know that Colorado is an amazing location for the aerospace industry with companies like Lockheed Martin, ULA, and of course, an amazing history of astronauts. So we just saw a model of the manned maneuvering unit, which Colorado astronaut Bruce McCandless II used to fly untethered in space for the very first time. And that brings us to our people in space section. We know that sending humans out to explore the solar system is so important. And right now we're doing that through more than 20 years of history of the International Space Station. And so guests can put themselves in the role of astronauts in aerospace careers. They can fly a robot arm challenge with a friend and see if they can be like astronauts on the ISS, controlling a Canada arm and we're doing repairs on a space station or they can take on an even more fun challenge with thruster docking. Now our guests said they absolutely love shuttle docking, so we've updated it, modernized it to be more like what our astronauts do on the ISS. Some of the partnerships we are most proud of resulted in the My Role in Space Interactive. Here, guests can take a fun, whimsical personality quiz to find out what their career in the aerospace or space industry might be. And this ranges from our traditional careers that people think of when you say space, like astronaut or astronomer, to things like a space lawyer, scientific illustrator, or even a seamstress that works on spacecraft. And we know there's no better way to inspire our guests than to let them meet the people in these careers and hear their stories. And so we were able to partner with people from around the world in these careers to highlight them and let our guests find out a bit more of what it takes to be involved in the aerospace and space science industry. So welcome to our Space from Earth section. This is really our Astronomy 101. We cover so much content through some really immersive interactives in this section. 
one of the things we love to talk about is how you can observe the universe in multiple wavelengths of light to learn new information. And guests can experience this by giving themselves a little infrared tattoo at our brand new infrared camera. We know one of the things we heard from guests was that they want brain stretchy experiences. The universe is such an amazing and expansive place. And so part of that was through scale of the universe, where we start at the museum and we can zoom all the way out to see how it sizes up to our state, to the moon, all the way out and to the edge of the universe and all the way back home. Beyond that, we're featuring our brand new space screen right behind us here. But in front of that has to be one of my favorite interactives. Here you get the experience of warping space time. So you can see I've got planets all around me orbiting and guests can run all sorts of experiments here. Welcome to the way to explore general relativity in a fun, big movement way. And if we turn the corner here, we start reflecting back on our own Earth. We know from our guests that Earth is an important part of any space exhibit. And one of the favorite features from our old Space Odyssey has made a brand new reappearance, redesigned, and that is our cratering interactive. Guests can pressurize, use compressed air, and fire off their own craters before watching it in slow motion. And of course, we couldn't bring in a new Space Odyssey without an all new Astro Tots. We know so many of our guests bring their littlest guests and explorers along with them when they come into the Museum and Space Odyssey. So Astro Tots is a fun and whimsical way for our youngest guests to explore, play, and discover new things and put themselves in the role of astronauts. And our guests can continue to explore our own planet and other planets and moons with the science on a sphere, thanks to your generous support. Guests now can control the sphere on their own and have, make those amazing discoveries about what it's like to be up close and personal. One of the first things our guests said when we asked them what they wanted out of a space science exhibit was they wanted to feel transported, like they were in space. And there's no better way to do that than with virtual reality. So we're so excited to be bringing in an all new virtual reality transporter where our guests can explore and have adventures safely from Earth out in space. And of course, no space odyssey is complete without featuring some of our own amazing collections. We've brought out some brand new meteorites as well as some old favorites like our Canyon Diablo touchable sample that all have amazing stories with them. Some of them are pieces of Mars, some of the rarest meteorites in our collections. And there's even a meteorite and the roof it fell through from Canyon City. We know that so many of our aerospace and STEM partners were inspired to pursue their careers by asking, what if, what's next? And one of the ways they did this was through being inspired by science fiction, Star Trek, Star Wars, that next step in exploration made them wonder, how can we live in that world of the future? And so we get to explore this with our guests through our fantasy spaceship. And to start off our spaceship experience, we get to feel like what it would be like to be in space. We've built a sensory spacewalk where guests get the chance to feel that darkness and the quiet and the amazing world of being surrounded by stars to really make them feel like they are in space, which was one of the most important things we heard from our community members. As guests exit that sensory spacewalk, they get the wow reveal of the bridge of our fantasy spaceship. This is really the heart of the spaceship. Guests will see all throughout these interestingly shaped ribs, little surprises, maybe through hatches. This looks like the laundry that gets lost in my dryer. To secret codes hidden throughout. I know I've always wanted to fly faster than the speed of light. It's the only way we're going to get out of our solar system. And so this ship allows us to fly into hyperdrive. Now it's just one of many interactives here. 
in the spaceship. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our sneak peek of Space Odyssey fully reimagined. We're having so much fun as the creators of the exhibit, exploring it on our own and seeing it come to life. And we can't wait for you and all of our guests to come experience it with us here in person safely. Of course, none of this would be possible without the generosity of our donors. We are so thankful to every one of you that contributed to this amazing project. Your donations will help guests be inspired to pursue science, engineering, mathematics, and technology for years to come. Thank you.